The June 30th, 2020 voting meeting of the Carlington School District Board of Directors is called to order. Um, why don't we stand and we'll do the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm gonna turn my video off temporarily. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, the flag. to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, of America and to the, to the republic, republic for which it stands, which it stands one nation under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice, and justice for, all. for all. Thank you, everyone. Will the secretary please call the roll? Director Honchar. Here. Director Frank. Here. Director Apple. Here. Director Russo. Here. Director O'Brien. Here. Director Mendoza. Here. Director Simsek. Director Simsek. Sorry, I was muted. I'm here. <laughs> Director Zaletsky. Here. And Director Shriver. Here. There's a portion of our meeting at the very beginning where we invite members of the public to comment on any item that we have on our agenda for tonight. Josh, can you see if there's anyone in the audience that has raised their hand to speak on an agenda item? There are no raised hands at this time. Okay. There is a, a portion at the end of the meeting where people can also ask questions. So we invite you to uh, stick around and ask questions at the end. Um, Moving on to our minutes from our previous meeting, I'll entertain a motion to approve the June 9th, 2020 meeting minutes as presented. So moved. Second. Aye. Moved and seconded. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Thank you. I'll report that we had an executive session prior to this meeting where we discussed real estate and potential litigation. I'll turn to Dr. Kreider for superintendent's report. And thank you, Mr. Shriver. Uh, this evening we have our athletic health and safety plan on the agenda for board approval. This plan is designed to safely transition student athletes to prepare for the upcoming fall sports season. In a very short time, we expect to have nearly 200 of our student athletes return to campus for conditioning exercises. Our plan starts with conditioning exercises and only subjects all, all participants to health screenings prior to each workout session. It promotes healthy hygiene, social distancing, disinfecting, small cohort grouping of students, educational programs, and other strategies to minimize exposure and transmission of COVID-19. Our plan also includes regular evaluation of our protocols and communication with our families. Additionally, we continue to examine our plans for the reopening of school in the fall and assembled a team to review multiple scenarios and precautionary measures to open schools safely. Our goal is to have this plan ready for our July 14th meeting. I would also like to congratulate Mr. Nate Milsom, our athletic director for being recognized by NIAAA as a certified athletic administrator. Through this process, Mr. Milsom has demonstrated the highest level of knowledge and expertise in the field of interscholastic athletic administration. Congratulations, Mr. Milsom. Also joining us this evening, we have Dr. Tricia Surdy. She is our school psychologist. We have Mr. Don Alexander, an elementary teacher. And we also have Dr. William Davies from the Allegheny Health Network. I'd like to turn things over to Dr. Surdy at this time. She will introduce uh, her guests and give us a brief background of the CHILL program that is sponsored by the Allegheny Health Network and that we look forward to moving into Carnegie Elementary this coming school year. Dr. Surdy. Hi, everyone. I wanted to thank the board for giving us this opportunity to discuss the Chill Room Project. Um, today, you'll get to hear from Mr. Alexander a little bit and also um, Dr. Davies. But I wanted to give a brief um, introduction. So the Chill Room pro Project is an innovative project that will significantly increase Carnegie Elementary's ability to meet all students' social and emotional needs. Um, the program will exponentially increase our ability to provide Tier 1 and Tier 2 services. Um, through Tier 1, we'll be able to provide all students with social and emotional learning through a mindfulness curriculum. And on Tier 2, we'll be able to provide small groups that are skill-based and need-based, as well as individual counseling um, through a full-time 
licensed therapist and also through the social um, and emotional um, therapist that will be in the chill room. Um, in addition, um, the project will help us meet our diverse student needs and the population that's ever changing um, and also all the needs that are now arising with everything going on with COVID. Um, this project will also allow us to transition from an often crisis-based system that is very reactive to a preventative system that will hopefully eventually decrease the amount of crises that we do experience in our district and in our school. Um, in addition, hopefully in the long term, it will help us reduce emotional and behavioral special ed referrals and potential um, special education student outplacement, saving us money. Um, but overall, the goal of this project is to address students' social and emotional needs in order to increase academic achievement and positive social interactions while also decreasing negative outcomes later in life. Um, so now Don can talk a little bit. Um, Mr. Alexander, if you want to talk a little bit about the general ed and how that would affect um, teachers and your students. Don might be on mute. Yes, Mr. Alexander, I, I believe you are uh, muted. If you could unmute yourself, please. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. I apologize. Um, no, I also um, I, I want to thank Dr. Surdy for uh, the introduction. And most importantly, I want to thank the administrative team for giving us the support we've needed over the last couple of months to research this project. Um, I'm a second grade teacher in Carnegie. For those of you who don't know me, um, it's, I'm coming up on my 21st year here in Carlinton School District. Um, and over the last several years as a regular ed teacher, we really started to notice um, that there were things that our students needed that we as regular ed teachers were having a difficult time providing. Uh, most of those things, you know, obviously uh, circulated around mental health and wellness needs. And um, it was weighing heavily on, on us as general ed teachers, knowing that there was more we could provide our students, but we personally couldn't provide those services. Uh, so um, we started researching uh, some possibilities to, to help address the needs that our students have. And I happened to be listening to the radio and heard uh, a story on NPR about uh, Dr. Davies and the Children Project. Um, and I'm also uh, I'm an ASHIC uh, representative and was lucky enough to have a connection with AHN and Highmark and was able to uh, get to meet Dr. Davies, learn more about the program, and um, automatically fell in love with the, the potential it has to help our students. So again, I want to thank the board for allowing us to have the time to talk about it tonight. And I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. William Davies from the Chill Project. Thank you, Don and uh, Dr. Serdi. I really appreciate it. Really excited to be here tonight and very grateful for this opportunity. And uh, as uh, Mr. Alexander and Dr. Serdi had talked about, uh, you know, they had heard about the Chill Project uh, on an NPR episode about our services that we're providing. Uh, right now, currently, in a couple of schools, uh, but that that one in particular was Baldwin High School. But uh, basically, you know, as Dr. Serdi said, the Chill Project is a prevention-based, um, mindfulness-informed uh, uh, service for not only students but for faculty as well. And I think that's a really important piece of this. So not only are we serving students just beyond, you know, beyond the the students who are in. Uh, traditional school-based therapy, which we're going to provide. And, and traditional school-based therapy, you tend to have therapists who are in a school once or twice a week, maybe. Nobody really knows who they are. They're not really part of the culture. Well, our therapists will be in Carnegie Elementary School five days a week, all day long. We'll become ingrained in the culture. We'll become a part of that faculty. We'll be heavily involved. We also have a second person there. And, and uh, just on the school-based therapy side, we have found that that model can be quite advantageous for serving the needs of a wider range of students as well. And so we also have a second person there. So it's a two-person team. This person is the educator in the chill room. 
um, where uh, this person does all the preventative uh, skill-based learning. And so the skills that we bring to the school that we, and we rotate every student in the school through this room uh, for our customized curriculum. Um, the, the skills that we teach are evidence-based. Uh, we know that they reduce anxiety, they reduce symptoms of depression. Uh, we know that uh, they can lead to increased levels of resiliency and, um, uh, and, and overall increase of uh, mindful awareness. But we also serve the teachers as well. And we know that when teachers are not in a great space, they're stressed out, there's a lot going on, that they're not as effective with the kids and they're not, they're not being as impactful. And that's a real, you know, that's a real concern, you know, just across the country. And so we're there for professional development to also help the teachers learn about the skills we're teaching the students. They get to experience it themselves. We talk about what they're going through, validate their concerns and their experiences, and help to create a common skill-based language across the entire school community. So we're currently doing this in two other districts right now. So it's our pleasure to be involved in a third district, particularly in a, in a great elementary school. And, um, you know, and, and then finally, a big piece of this also is medication management. So we will have a, um, a licensed uh, psychiatric nurse practitioner who will be uh, serving students on site at Carnegie Elementary as well for medication management. So we really try to take a nice, well-rounded approach, something that's very comprehensive it's from a tier one and tier two perspective. Um, we're also there to help with crisis management, for connections to other services. Um, and we will also uh, uh, very soon be able to provide psychological testing as well. So that's a brief overview of the CHILL project. Um, this past year through March in our current two school districts that we're in, we're in two other buildings right now in our pilot year. We've had over 10,000 individual encounters between the two rooms. So it's highly utilized, not only for the groups of students who walk in, but there's, you know, in their classes, but they also do walk-ins when they're stressed. We do lunch groups, we do after-school mindfulness sessions, and it is uh, incredibly busy and highly utilized. And it's a service that, that has been well regarded in both of those other districts. Thank you for your time tonight, I appreciate it. I have a question, can I ask a question? <laughs> Is this just in Carnegie Elementary or does it spill over into our other two buildings in any way at all? As of now, we have it designed just for Carnegie and it is where we are going to take a look at the program and see if it is something that will evolve into something much larger. But before uh, moving into uh, a greater commitment, we wanted to make a, take a look at, uh, at how it would work at Carnegie, how it meets our needs and uh, continue to collect data uh, during the school year. Thank you. And Mr. Shriver, that is all I have for the superintendent's report. I'll turn things back over to you. And thank you, uh, thank you again uh, for our three guests for coming in and uh, sharing the information about the the chill uh, the chill project. It's something that we are, like I said, very excited to uh, to offer to our students at Carnegie, and we look forward to uh, to that partnership. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. It's a very good presentation. Thank you. Good, exciting news. Um, Dr. Kreider, any other administrative reports or shall I move on to the committee reports? We do not have any other administrative reports. Okay, very good. Moving on, um, Parkway West. Director Apple, do you have any updates for us on Parkway West? Thank you, I do. Uh, a few brief. Um, things. Um, so nobody's really sure what's going to happen to start a school near, school year. So um, uh, we had our meeting at Parkway earlier this month. Um, and Darby Copeland, the director out there, let us know that if needed, they're ready with three weeks of online instruction that's ready to go. Um, as far as student population, they're feeling like the numbers are going very likely going to be up. They're not sure yet. It's a little bit too early to, to tell. Um, but uh, and finally, um, they had a drive-through graduation um, for the the student the seniors with eighty five percent participation. 
and they decorated the you know the drive up to the school with balloons and all that sort of stuff and um then each of the program areas for the students uh they went and they got their their diplomas and um got to pick up their stuff if they had it in the um in the uh you know in, the, in their lockers or whatever um and we had three students at Carlinton, from Carlinton that are the, uh, in the, uh, the uh, National Honor Society for Current Technical Education. So, um, you know, always good stuff going on out there. And um, that's all I have. Thanks, Director Apple. Uh, moving on to Pathfinder, Director Honcher, anything to report on, on Pathfinder? Yes, Jim. Um, I do. As far as this fall, our uh, principal, um, uh, Nick, said that uh, all safety issues will be following other public schools. And since the largest class at Pathfinder is only 12 kids, there's not going to be any problem with extreme social distancing. The comparison in 1967 when Pathfinder opened, um, there were 200 to 250 kids. But this year, we graduated a very large class of 10. Uh, so from the 84 kids last year, subtracting 10, uh, we'll have 74 in the fall plus four new ones. So 78 kids will start in the fall, which will be late August. That's the end of my report, Jim. Thank you. Jim, did you hear me? Yes, I did. Thank you, Director Hantra. That was great. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Shazda, Director Zalewski, have anything to share on Shazda? We have not had any current updates from Shazda at this time. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Legislative PSBA, Director Franks, um, are you wrapping up your, your term covering PSBA stuff? What do you mean? Am I wrapping it up? I, I, our, um, you had expressed an interest in, in shifting away from that as you're moving oh. into it. Yep. Um, yeah, I don't have anything to report this month, but yes, I'm, I'm interested in wrapping it up. Okay. So to the rest of the board, we'll, um, we'll look at our next meeting to see who our next uh, legislative PSBA committee head will be. So think about that and uh, we'll talk about it next time. But thank you, Director Frank. Moving on to foundation, Director Simsek, any updates on the foundation? No news. We haven't had any meetings. Understood. All right. Thank you, Dr. Carter. That's the end of our uh, end of our committee reports. We'll move on to the rest of the meeting, if that's okay. Yes, that's good. Thank you. Under Section Four of Miscellaneous, our only item uh, is regarding the calendar, the school calendar. So I'll entertain a motion to approve the 2020-2021 school calendar and revisions to it as submitted. Do I have a motion for that item? So, so moved. moved. Moved, do I have a second? Second. Moved and seconded, any discussion? If not, we'll vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed aye. nay. Motion carries, thank you. Under section five finance, we have quite a few um, items under here. Let's carve out items one through four um, as one motion, and then we'll handle the rest as a second motion, if that's okay with everyone. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll entertain a motion to approve uh, the following items. Number 5.1, the 2020-2021 general fund budget with revenues of $29,945,426 and expenditures in the amount of $30,557,759. Number 5.2, resolution number 477-20, establishing the millage for real estate taxation for the 2020-2021 fiscal year as follows. Resolved that the Carlington School District does hereby levy and assess the real estate tax for the fiscal year for all taxable property in the district for the boroughs of Carnegie Craft and Rosalind Farms at 25.7891 mills or $2.57891 dollars 
on each $100 of the assessed valuation of all property for school purposes. <clears throat> 5.3, resolution number 478-20 as follows, resolve that the levy of 1% on all earned income and net profit be levied by resolution number 44 of 1966 and enacted under the authority of the Local and Tax Enabling Act number 511 of 1965 and its amendments thereto is hereby renewed for the 2020-2021 fiscal year and for an indefinite term there and after and all taxes levied under Act 511 of 1965, including the earned income and net profits tax and the real estate transfer tax be reenacted without substantial change. And number 5.4, resolution number 479-20 to accept the funds made available through Act 1, the Homestead Farmstead Tax Relief Act. Qualified homeowners of the district will realize a savings of approximately $170.94. I have a motion for those four items. So moved. Thank you. Moved on. Thank you. Moved and seconded. Any discussion on any of those four items? I just would like to say that um, I first came on the board in 2001. And this is probably the most difficult budget I've I've seen and been a part of, and I have um, uh, nothing but great things to say to Dr. about Dr. Kreiner and business manager Jeswick and the work they've done to try to get a budget together that fits within the very tight parameters that this district has at this point in time. Uh, as a group, we've talked about this being year one of a five-year plan. Uh, it's going to be challenging, not just for this year, but for the subsequent four years. But I'm very confident based on the projections and the uh, plans that uh, Mr. Jeswick has provided to us that we will, <clears throat> while embracing those plans and no doubt modifying them going forward, uh, that we're going to get to a good place. It won't be easy. I think we're all aware of that. But um, I, I think it's a good budget. I think we've, we've done good work to get here. Um, but obviously, uh, there's still a lot more work to do. Thank you, John and Chris, for your, your hard work. And uh, thank you. And I can say we had like our little finance team with myself, Dr. Kreider, Director Russos, and Director Frank. And it was just, you know, they gave us, uh, Director Russos and Director Frank, they gave us kind of the board's perspective on some targets and things. So I'd like to thank uh, you two also for, you know, chipping in with us and kind of letting community thoughts, board thoughts, theories on things. So I, I really do thank um it was a team team effort on this, and I think uh, I think we got it to a pretty good place considering all the curveballs we were thrown this year with COVID and such. So I'd like to thank you both also. Thank you. We appreciate that. Thank you. Hey, I, I'd just like to thank you guys too. I know um, uh, you've had a lot on your plate. Uh, I mean, Dr. Crowder came in a little bit um, later in, 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 the, um, in the process and then promptly got handed a whole lot of stuff that nobody anticipated to handle. Um, but I know that, you know, Mr. Jeswick uh, starting to work with not only the board, but, you know, uh, Dr. D'Imperio before uh, has been, you know, pretty, um, very steady throughout all this and, and work extremely hard. And, and I just, I, I think it, it's worth repeating that uh, we really appreciate your efforts, Chris, and you too, Dr. Crowder, for, um, you know, jumping into this. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a tough budget, like Director Russo said. Um, and I don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't see things getting easier. <laughs> so, um, I'm glad we have a good team. Thanks. Thank you. I just wanted to add, um, not to be like a Debbie Downer and so dark on things. I'm glad where we got this year and that only came with a lot of hard decisions. But the five year projection that we had gotten had showed us that if we continued our spending the way that we were spending, we were gonna end up with no fund balance and that is not the direction we wanna go. So. Knowing that some of the hard decisions our community had to face this year, that they should be understanding that for the next four years, every year it's gonna be a struggle like this. Every year we are going to have on our plate tougher and tougher decisions. So those are guaranteed to come. 
but we were able to get it through to this year. Every year is going to be like that. So like director Apple said, it's not going to get any easier. Decisions aren't going to get smoother. So it is a big wrestling match that um, Mr. Jeswick and Dr. Kreider did this year and the board and the, the public. So we're glad to have the public support and we're going to continue trying to represent our community. Thank you. Thank you. Any other any comments or questions about the four items on the table? If not, we'll vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Thank you. Moving on to the next group of items under finance, um, I'll entertain a motion to approve item number 5.5, .5, the treasurer's report for the month of May 2020 as submitted. Number 5.6. The bills for the month of May 2020 in the amount of $302,496.29. Number 5.7, to exonerate tax collectors, Chris McKerns, Craft and Burrow, Jordan Tax Service, Carnegie Burrow, and Dorothy Falk, Roslyn Farms Burrow, from further collection of school district real estate taxes for the 2019-2020 school year, effective June 30th, 2020 that the list of names of homeowners with unpaid taxes be submitted to the delinquent tax collector for the purpose of leaning. Number 5.8, to grant authorization for the appropriate officials to provide tax duplicates to each of the district's tax collectors on or before July 1st, 2020, in accordance with section 682 of the PA school code. Number 5.9, <clears throat> to authorize the district to acquire the tax collector's bonds for the tax collectors of Crafton, Carnegie, and Roslyn Farms Boroughs as required by Section 684 of the PA School Code. Number 5.10, 5.10, to renew public official bonding for Board Secretary Christopher Jeswick and Treasurer Jude Frank. Number 5.11, to approve the addendum agreement between the district and the YMCA of Greater Pittsburgh to the change in facility usage related to COVID-19 for the operation of a virtual campaign for the summer of 2020 as submitted. Number 5.12, the agreement to participate in the Pennsylvania school-based access program administered by the Department of Human Services in accordance with all state and federal statutes and regulations as submitted. 5.13, the First Amendment to real estate purchase and sale agreement between the district and Armstrong Redevelopment as submitted. Number 5.14, the agreement between the district and Keystone Oak School District for continued participation in the Project Succeed Consortium for the 2020-2021 school year as submitted. Number 5.15, the three-year agreement between the district and Wesley Family Services for liaison provider services for the district assistance program under the term submitted. Number 5.16, the three-year agreement between the district and Wesley Family Services for school-based therapeutic services in the Carlington Junior Senior High School under the term submitted. Number 5.17, the board affirmation statement as required by the Pennsylvania Department of Education and state board regulations for the additional targeted support and improvement ATSI plan as submitted. Number 5.18, the Behavioral Health Professional Services Agreement for the purposes of a chill room at Carnegie Elementary School as submitted. Number 5.19, the contract agreement between the district and WL Roanoke Transportation for van transportation services commencing July 1st, 2020 through June 30th, 2025 as submitted. Number 5.20, the athletic fund reports for the months ending April 2020 and the amount of $5,056.09 and for the month ending May 20th, May 2020 in the amount of $5,053.31. 5.21, the activities fund reports for the month ending April 2020 in the amount of $95,534.41 and for the month ending May 2020 in the amount of $92,139.60. Number 5.22, <clears throat> award bids for athletic supplies for the 2020-2021 school year and the total amount of $46,959.36. And 5.23, to 
to approve continued participation in the Pennsylvania Local Government Investment Trust, PLGIT, and the Pennsylvania School District Liquid Asset Fund, PSDLAF, for the purpose of purchasing shares of the trust. Do I have a motion for items 5.05 through 5.23? I second. Moved and seconded. Thank you very much. Um, any discussion on those items? If not, we'll vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Okay. Motion carries. Thank you. Moving on to section six, personnel. Um, we have three items. I will entertain a motion to approve number one, the elimination of the position of technology aid at Carnegie Elementary School, effective June 30th, 2020. Number two, to approve the furlough of Kathleen Farrow subject to recall based on reassignment through the bidding process. And number three, to approve the memorandum of understanding between the district and the current confederation of teachers, collective bargaining unit agreement, in regards to employing independent contractor Lisa Rowley as the federal programs coordinator for the 2020-2021 school year at a stipend of $8,500. I have a motion for those three items. So moved. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? If not, we'll vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries, thank you. Under section seven, uh, student services, there's one item I'll entertain a motion to approve the Carlington School District Athletic Health and Safety Plan as submitted. I have a motion for that item. So moved. Thank seconded. you. Evan. Thank you, moved and seconded. Any discussion? If not, we'll vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Thank you. Um, under section eight, old business, any director of any old business they would like to discuss? If not, we'll move on to new business. Any director of any new business they would like to discuss? If not, we'll move on to the open forum. Josh, do we have anyone in the audience that has raised their hand to ask a question in open forum? No, we do not. Okay. Dr. Kreider, do you have any other final questions or comments or board, do you have any other final open forum items? I have uh, nothing further. I was just uh, giving some time to see if there was anybody with any questions from the audience, but I still don't see any. Um, and no, nothing, nothing for anything from any other board members. I just want to say it was nice to see Sarah Hoffman on the Zoom. It's part of joining us in our meetings. Been excited and waiting for you to join us, so I'm glad you're on board and glad to see your face. Thank you. It's been a, a very nice start. Um, I can. I, everyone's been wonderful and they've been very helpful. All the secretaries, Dr. Kreider, Chris, Josh. I mean, they've everyone's been amazing. So very excited and jumping right into things. So thank you. Marisa, thank you for making that note. Good point. Sorry, Joe, go ahead. Sorry, Joe, I thought you were going to say something. Marisa, thank you again. And Sarah, welcome. I'm sorry we're not in person to welcome you more warmly than we are right now, but thank you. And we're, we're great to have you on the team. We're, we're grateful. Thanks. Uh, if there's nothing else from the board, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. No move. No move. Any second? Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. We are adjourned. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>